Dana Morrow says she prioritizes her children more, making her not move into her 27.5 million marshalled house in Kamaki's rural standby as I give you these details. And Karen Nyamo welcomes her third baby today and with me are all the details of her delivery and the name of the baby girl. Zari blasts Luo singer Japesa and asks him to release his song in peace after Japesa claimed to have been in touch with the South African. And finally Shin C says Vibes Cattle influenced her style of making music. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. My name is Kingsley Oluwoko for Mungai Eve Entertainment News Roundup. Diana Marua has now addressed the reason as to why her children, together with her family, have not yet moved into their 27.5 million machinate in Kamakis of Riru Vipers. Through her social media, she wrote these and I open quote. Let's just put it out there because Manasema oh ni fake ni fake. It's because of school. Babies are still in school, but I thank God that they are doing their exams right now. And by 10th of March, we will be fully settled in our house. End of quote. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Dana Marrow's sentiments. Moving on swiftly to our top second story. Nairobi senatorial aspirant Karen Nyamu has received her bundle of joy on Saturday the 26th of February. She made this news public through her Instagram stories where she posted the tiny hands of her baby. She has welcomed a baby girl and named her Jerry. She captioned these and I open quote. We give God all the glory. End of quote. This comes days after the Nairobi women top seed hopeful was surprised by friends who threw her a baby shower. An elated Nyamu took to Instagram to reveal how it went down, saying she was even dozing off at the antenatal clinic when one of her friends sneaked in in a plan. She wrote these and I open quote. Yesterday my day ones did the thing. I was dozing off at the antenatal clinic and I couldn't wait to get home and sleep. So when Bakita tried to sneak in her Tuesday plan, I was having none of that. Haiku Rahisi but nearly fika to my beautiful surprise baby shower. It was nice and intimate and made me reflect. These girls have been involved in all my three baby showers going all out and gifting me. Of course Nililia here in the standard thank you babe girls. End of quote, Nyamu revealed she was pregnant in mid-2021 and at one point a curious fan commented on her photo asking where the baby had disappeared to. She also outdid herself with a fabulous baby bump photoshoot in a pool. She expressed her reason for doing the photoshoot as balancing the needs of her children so as when the unborn at the time will ask for the photos, she will have something to show her. The baby whose father is believed to be the Mugidi star Samido is yet to share these news. They both have another baby making the family of four. And moving on swiftly, rap sensation Philip Atroba Okoyo aka Japesa has been blasted by South African based Ugandan Zari Hassan terming his moves to gain her attention as to sell his music inconsequential. Taking to his social media account, Japesa posted a screenshot of his conversation with Zari Hassan. The conversation reads flattery with the two seemingly to have a perfect chemistry on the relationship or friendship. Zari has rubbished those claims writing these and I open quote. I never DM'd you. Please release your song in peace without chasing clout. I hate when people use my name like this. And of the rapper has however not countered Zari Hassan's claims. Japesa, who is a graduate in logistics and supply chain management from Jaramogi Oginga Odinga University of Science and Technology, said his music career began way back in 2012 after his Form 4 studies. The 27-year-old also divulged that he is sensational obsessed with the Lua rap because it sounds great to him. In a recent interview, the rapper said he is looking to retire from the music industry as a millionaire in the next five years. In other news, since Ugandan socialite Zari Hassan unveiled GK Chopper as her new boyfriend to the public, many have been wondering how the two linked up. The pair's relationship has faced a lot of criticisms from the public, with many saying that it will not last enough. Just a few days ago, Zari came out and told the nation that she doesn't care whether her relationship ends in tears. 
Speaking to journalists at Pearl of Africa Hotel on Friday, Zari Hassan revealed how she met GK Chopper in South Africa almost four years of him sweet talking her. She explained that during the four years of trying to convince her, GK Chopper always sent her gifts, but she often turned down his offers. Fortunately, after a long while, they met in South Africa and their bond started growing. Zari, who initially downplayed the rumors that they are dating, seems to have now settled for the fact that they are more than friends. Congratulations, Zari, in your new found lover. And our international story for today, Shansi names Vibes Cartel as one of her biggest musical influences and shares how the dancehall legend influenced her sound, expressing that his music has had a tremendous influence on her musical career, while now noting that he impacts how she writes some of her songs. Dancehall princess Shansi gave major props to Vibes Cartel. She further acknowledged that his musical contributions to the genre are unparalleled. In the post, Shensi expressed appreciation for the incarcerated DJ, who many believe is still the king of dancehall despite his present situation and location. The video shared via Shensi fan page showed a clip of the singer looking beautiful with her hair and makeup done. The bad along singer discussed her musical influences during a recent interview with the Apple Music. She stated that one of the artists that influenced my sound is Vibes Cartel because I always tell myself what it is is that he will say on the track when he is writing. I feel like he is such an amazing writer and he is one of the top influences when I'm writing my music. I like to challenge myself so as I always listen to his music, what he will come with, some type of punchlines that he will put in his songs, it's always crazy and so big up vibes Cartel. The 25 years old was recently nominated for Grammy continues to pay homage to Cartel, who has been in the industry more than 20 years despite the DJ having accused her in the past of stealing the track Lodi in 2017. Shensi Rimi mixed Cartel's Lodi and the popularity of the track propelled her career into the musical stratosphere. Shensi and Vibes Cartel went back to the musical table in 2018 where they were crafted secret. Vibes Cartel has a long history of breaking news talent. He has helped shine light on Popcorn, Javinci, producer Not Nice, Lisa Hyper, Sika Rhymes, Black Rhino, Sean Storm and Gaza Kim through his now extinct Potmo musical outfit. Thank you for standing by to access these and more updates make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell my name is kingsley oluoko for mungai eve entertainment news roundup